Hey everyone, I found these at the Dollar Tree yesterday, so I thought I would make a quick video about them. It was the first time that I've seen these in a Dollar Tree, and each of these boxes has six cans in them. So you get a six pack of this Evian sparkling water with additional flavors and minerals for $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. And when I was purchasing these, the cashier even told me this is such a great deal because if I went down the road to Walgreens, they're going for $4.99. So for $1.25, you can't beat this. Counter cooking. No kitchen, no problem. They're currently selling four different flavors. So starting from the upper left right here, the flavors are grapefruit and basil. This one is lime and ginger. This one is cucumber and mint, and this one is raspberry and ginseng. So all of these have the same exact ingredients listed, uh, which are Evian natural spring water, carbon dioxide, magnesium sulfate, natural flavors, and zinc sulfate. So these are called Feed Your Mind made with Evian natural spring water plus magnesium and zinc. So we see the magnesium sulfate and the zinc sulfate in the ingredients. It also says it's flavored with other natural flavors. So this box is lime and ginger, and I'm noticing that neither lime nor ginger is listed in the ingredients. It just says natural flavors. So it seems that it's only lime flavoring and ginger flavoring, which is a bit disappointing because if it had natural ginger in it, it would be beneficial for digestion, for example. So as I'm reading the ingredients, I'm realizing that magnesium sulfate is Epsom salts. If you've ever taken a bath in Epsom salts, Epsom salts are magnesium sulfate. So there's actually Epsom salt in these Evian beverages. It says per can there are 50 milligrams of magnesium, 30 milligrams of calcium, and 1.1 milligrams of zinc. So zinc is good for immunity. It helps boost immunity if you feel like you have a cold coming on, if you're getting sick, if you're feeling run down and you take some zinc, it helps to boost your immunity a bit. And magnesium is known for its calming and relaxing effects. So it's interesting to have a beverage with magnesium and zinc in it. It could have some very helpful properties. Now, all of these say they have 0% juice. So even though it's lime and ginger, there's no actual lime in there. And the same is true for all the others. They all say 0% juice. They all have the exact same ingredients listed. To me, that's a little bit disappointing because if this was made with real ginseng, for example, it would have some energy boosting properties and also some immunity boosting properties. And if this had real mint in it, mint is very refreshing. It helps to awaken you. It could also boost your energy also. And grapefruit and basil. So grapefruit aroma and grapefruit essential oils are known to lessen an appetite. So a lot of people use it for appetite suppression. And of course, ginger is really good for digestion. So I'm a little bit disappointed with these just by reading uh, the packaging. However, I am a fan of Evian water. Um, I do drink it quite often. I find that out of many mineral waters that are sold on the market, uh, it's actually a true mineral water. If you test the pH of it, uh, it has a bit higher pH than most of the other waters. So I have not tasted any of these yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open these boxes and I'm going to put a few of these in the refrigerator and then I'll be back with a taste test. So I put two of each can in the fridge, but I'm just about to go outside and do some yard work and I'm kind of thirsty. So I thought I would try the cucumber and mint. It sounds really refreshing. Today's a hot day. So I'm gonna try this at room temperature. I would pour this over ice, but I currently don't have any ice in my refrigerator. So I'm just gonna try it like this. It has a very pleasing aroma. It smells like cucumber and mint. For the flavor, I'm mostly tasting spearmint. It tastes like I'm drinking Wrigley's spearmint gum. If you've ever had Wrigley's spearmint gum, that's what this tastes like. I would definitely prefer if there was more of a cucumber flavor with just like a hint of mint, but I'm just getting mint. I'm not the biggest fan of sparkling waters that taste like mint. I do enjoy a nice cucumber water, especially in the summer, so I don't think this is going to be one of my favorites. 
I'm probably just gonna drink about half of this, cover it, put it in the fridge, and uh, when I come back inside a little while later, finish the rest of it. I'm also drinking this on an empty stomach and I am super sensitive to any kind of chemicals or ingredients in foods and beverages, so that's just me. I have these cover-ups from the Dollar Tree and the small size fits nicely on a beverage. It's now a few hours later and I am going to try the lime and ginger. This has been refrigerated. So the only thing I noticed from the last one was that probably like 20 or 30 minutes after I drank it, all of a sudden I got really thirsty. I had to come inside and drink a bunch of water. Other than that, I felt good. I did feel a bit relaxed from it, but I didn't notice anything else different. This one has a very nice lime flavor. I don't think I could really pick much ginger out of it. Yeah, if you gave this to me and did not tell me what it was, I would think it would be like a lime seltzer. I would not think there was ginger in it. This one is really good. I like it a lot better than the cucumber and the mint. Even if I smell it, I'm not getting a ginger aroma from it. Once again, I'm gonna drink about half the can. So let's taste the others. I'm really curious about them. So this one is raspberry and ginseng. I'm just gonna taste a little of these. So it hasn't even been 10 minutes since I drank the last one and I'm already feeling thirsty from it. Like my mouth is dry from it. So here's the raspberry and ginseng. It smells like raspberries. It tastes like raspberries. It might have the slightest hint of ginseng, but mostly I'm just tasting raspberries. Yeah, I think this one has a nice blend of raspberry and ginseng. If you've ever had ginseng tea, you'll recognize that flavor. So this would be my number two favorite so far. The lime ginger would be my favorite, and then this would be number two, and my least favorite so far would be the cucumber mint. Now let's try the grapefruit and basil. And these have all been refrigerated. This is interesting because this one smells like grapefruit, but it tastes more like basil. I'm definitely getting a basil flavor and not a very strong basil flavor, like a mild to medium basil flavor. I'm not really getting much grapefruit, but the aroma is grapefruit. That's interesting. It's not bad, it's definitely drinkable. It's still not my favorite. This would probably be number three behind the raspberry and ginseng. I have them lined up in order of my favorites. On the left, it's lime and ginger, followed by raspberry and ginseng, followed by grapefruit and basil, followed by cucumber and mint. I'm just really not a fan of drinking beverages that taste like chewing gum or toothpaste. And that's what the mint reminds me of. Once again, the lime really tastes like lime, not much ginger. Uh, the raspberry and ginseng, it definitely tastes like raspberry with the hint of ginseng, which is nice. And then as far as the grapefruit and basil goes, I feel like it tastes like basil, but the aroma is grapefruit, so that's kind of interesting. And the cucumber and mint, I'm not really tasting any cucumber, just mint. The aroma is cucumber, and now that I'm tasting it chilled, I'm actually getting more cucumber mixed with the mint. So to me, that one tastes different room temperature versus chilled. I'm getting more of the cucumber flavor now that it's been chilled. And I definitely like it better now. So those would actually switch. I now like the cucumber mint better than the grapefruit basil. I still like the raspberry ginseng better than the cucumber mint. And I still really like the lime. I would say the lime might be a tie with the raspberry. The lime and raspberry might be tied for first place. Cucumber mint comes in second, and then grapefruit basil comes in third. 
So actually what I'm thinking is that these make a nice alternative beverage for those of us that don't drink alcohol. I know a lot of people like to come home from work and at night relax with a glass of wine, maybe a can of beer. And because these beverages have a little bit of magnesium in them, which is relaxing to the body, these make a nice alcohol-free alternative for someone who wants to come home, have a beverage and relax. I definitely feel a relaxing effect from these. Thanks for watching. If you've tried these Evian sparkling beverages, please leave a comment below and let me know what you thought.